Okay, what's going on traders? So today we have another lesson for you. Okay, we are off the charts this time, right? We are not on um, trading view or looking at meta trader charts because you know, um, the charts are not really moving. Okay, um, because this week it has a uh, Euro Central Bank, right? ECB conference, and um, normally during such weeks it doesn't move. So we figured, you know, um, let's record a video for you just to share with you more about trading, and hopefully this video will help uh improve your trading and also change your perspective about what mindset you need to have in order to be a consistent profitable trader okay so moving along today our topic would be how to trade forex like a casino for consistent profits okay so actually trading is really just like um it's really like casino right so in a casino um you know everyone plays their bet and so about probability meaning that you know um you never know Correct? It's, it's probability. There's no such thing as certainty. Right? You go and you play blackjack or you play roulette. It, you, you don't expect to you know, win 100% of the time. Okay? So forex trading is actually the same in the sense that um, you cannot expect to win 100% of the time. Okay? So the question today I'd like to ask you is, guess who always loses money at a casino? Okay? Just think about it. Okay? Why? The players, okay, people who, jet, jet, who play at a casino, most of them end up losing money. So the question would be, why does the house always seem to win? Correct? How do they you know, guarantee that they always win, right? That uh, in the long run, of course, in the short run, like day to day, you know, um, they might lose uh, money here and there. But in the long run, they are genuinely, generally profitable. Okay, in fact, um, casino is one of the good business to go into because as long as the rules are in play, you, you kind of know that uh, you, you're going to make money, okay? So how does a uh, casino do this, okay? They do this by controlling the game with a set of rules that you positive expectancy, okay? So you might ask, okay, so um, how is this related to trading, right? Forex trading, right? Because you're here to learn about forex trading, not about casino, right? Now think of it, okay? Think of it, do you have a set of rules that use positive expectancy? Right? Think about it. Okay? Okay? So, if you don't have a set of rules, right, that uh, use positive expectancy, then you're actually no different from being, uh, you know, a gambler, right? At, at the casino, you're just gambling your money away. Okay? One more point, factor that I like to point out about casino is that when they come out with a set of rules, over, right, like uh, in the sense of roulette, um, blackjack, Right, or even like Caribbean poker, right? They actually stick to them. Okay, this is very important. They actually stick to uh, their rules. You don't see them changing the rules like every single day. You don't see them like hopping from one set of rules to another set because um the casino had a bad day, correct? They have faith in their rules because they know that in the long run they're gonna make money. Okay, so that is what you need to be doing in trading. You need to have a set of rules that you stick to day in, day out. Not, you know, um, today you feel like doing this, you do this. Um, tomorrow you feel like doing that and you do that. Okay? So a forex strategy is kind of like a, having a set of rules that use positive expectancy. Okay? If you don't actually trade using a set of rules, then it's likely that you are trading in a haphazard manner. Okay? Think about it. You, you, today you just, oh, I feel like using the moving average to trade. Oh, tomorrow I feel like using the MACD. Okay, how can you be consistent? Think about it, right? If you are approaching the market in a like haphazard manner, or rather you're not consistent in the way you approach the market, how do you expect to actually generate a consistent profit? Right, let me just change this. Okay, so you need to have a proven system, step one, step two, step three, that you follow day in and day out. Regardless of whether you know you had a good week, you had a bad week, you follow this system every single day diligently. Step one, step two, step three, step four. So the question right now I'd like to ask you is, do you have something like that at this moment? Okay, if your answer is no, then you probably want to look for a method like that. Okay, you don't have to learn from us, you can learn from anyone. Okay, it doesn't matter. But the, my point here is that you need to have a consistent way to analyze the market, right? A consistent way to um, break down your, your, your trading plan, a consistent way to manage your risk. Okay, without that, it's very hard to generate, or I won't say it's very hard, I'll say it's impossible to generate consistent profits. Okay, so learn from the casino, learn from what they are doing and how they structure their business 
adapt this into your trading. Okay, so here's the here's something interesting that I also want to talk about. Okay, you do need the best strategy. Okay, Let, let's talk about the casino. Okay, I'm not too sure if you heard of the game roulette. I mean, it's a pretty common game, but in case you haven't heard of this game, let me just explain how it works, okay? So, um, in a simple game of roulette, you can either bet uh, the red or the black, okay? So, um, there are 18 red, um, red, 18 red, um, like what you call that, colors, and 18 black, okay? And there's two zeros, okay? Two zeros, which are green in color. So, what happens is that if, if the ball stops at the, the green, either of the two zeros, the house wins, okay? So if you just do some basic maths, if there are 16 red, 16 black, and two green, then the total number of outcome, possible outcomes would be 38, okay? And of course, there's 18 red. So let's assume you choose red or you choose black, it doesn't matter. Your probability of winning is still the same, okay? 18 zero at 38 equals to 47.3%. Okay, so what's the probability of you losing? Let's, let's consider. So of course, if you bet red, then uh, the probability of losing would be if the price, it, not sorry, not if price, but if the ball stops at the black, right? So that will be 18. There's 18 blacks. And you add the two greens, that will be 20. So if you do 20 divided by 38, you have 52.7%. Okay, so you just do some basic maths to find out the casino's edge over you. That would be 52.7 minus 47.3. Okay? Just a mere 5.4%. Okay, it doesn't seem much. But what does this 5.4% mean? Okay, 5.4% means that whenever a dollar is wedged, right? Um, let's say you go, you, you go to the casino and you put down a dollar. Over the long run, the casino can expect to make 5.4 cents. And this is enough to make the casino a wildly profitable business. I mean, think of it. How much money does a casino make? You know, like La Vegas. How much do they make a year? Go check it out, right? They make a lot of money. So what's my point here? Okay, my point here is very simple. You, you don't really need the best strategy, okay? Stop looking for the perfect strategy. You won't find it and it doesn't, you don't need the perfect strategy to make money, okay? What you just need is you just need a slight edge in the market, okay? Just like the casino, you know, just a 5.4%, you know, it's not, not too impressive, right? Then just be consistent in executing the strategy. That's what you need to be doing, okay? So I reiterate this over here, okay? You don't need the best strategy or to win every single trade, okay? We see a lot of new traders. You guys want to win every single trade, okay? Think of it, okay? You can't even lose every single trade even if you try to, okay? So how can you expect to win every single trade, okay? So that's not a realistic uh, expectation. It's something that you want to like work in your trading psychology. You need to get to your head that uh, it's okay to lose money as long as you manage your risk, okay? So what you need is a slight edge in the market and solid execution, okay? This is very, 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 very important, okay? We cannot stress this in enough, okay? This is enough to really turn you a wildly profitable trader, okay? Just a small edge and you execute well, okay? In fact, our signals have been making money week in and week out. So to, if, if you're not making money, right? That, that's also a sign that there's something wrong with your execution currently, okay? Like maybe you... you you, you mismanage your trade, you trade too big, you know, you, you cherry big trades, stuff like that, okay? So you want to work with your execution if you are following us because we have shown you week in, week, week in and week out that we are making money, okay? So there's absolutely no reason why you can't be making money if you execute our trades properly, okay? So like a casino that sticks to their rules and churns the amount which, correct, as I said earlier, right, they, they just focus on, you know, getting more, people to get to, to gamble okay so why do you think casinos actually like um they give free you know hotel stays to big gamblers because they're trying to churn the amount the, the the amount of um bets that they are on the table okay so your job as a trader is to stick to your rules and execute trade after trade okay irregardless of how you feel irregardless of whether the previous trade was a loss or not you execute it as it is okay but here's the thing about trading that is really good, okay? In traditional roulette, right, you, you kind of like your, re, your reward is one is to one. That means uh, maybe you risk $1, you make $1 back, 
So it's not too exciting. I mean, it's cool, but it's not, it's not as good as trading because in trading, right, if you do it right and you have a stop loss and you have a take profit that, you know, that, that is, is, is quite huge. For example, you're risking 30 hits, but your take profit is 90 hits. And you, most importantly, have the patience to sit through and sit tight on your profits, meaning that you just wait patiently for the market to hit your take profit. Then you are able to get, you know, like maybe one is to three, one is to four, or perhaps you know, one is to five. And that's where the big money is being made, okay? Because you are able to get um, more money, right? You risk $1 and you, you make $5, okay? So I hope this lesson has been valuable to you, okay? This is a lot of mindset stuff. Just trying to train you to think like a professional trader. So these are our final words to you, okay? We want to share with you to, that you need to stop looking for the perfect strategy. Stop looking for the perfect strategy. Stop looking for the perfect signal provider because it doesn't exist. Okay, just choose a single strategy or a single signal provider. Stick with it. Okay, stick with it for three months. You know, give it some time. If if you need you need need to build your confidence whether this signal provider is actually doing good, take some time to um to to observe, right? Record to keep your own trading journal. Follow their trades to make sure that uh they are transparent, right? They don't just uh, report. You know, they 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 you know like in the trading diary certain trades they don't record, right? Find a signal provider that's very transparent with you, right? Uh, it records everything. If it's a losing week, they tell you it's a losing week, okay? Then once you have confidence, you know, that, um, okay, this signal provider seems to have an edge in the market and then you commit to following every single trade, okay? When you do decide to commit, make sure that you follow every single trade, okay? Of course, there are some certain times you're not able to follow a trade because, you know, like, um, you are sleeping and that's fine. But do your best, okay? Do your best, execute the trades, manage your risk well, okay? So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, right? Um, doesn't have to be about this, could be about the markets, about struggle that you face. Uh, comment down below, let us know. And be sure to subscribe to our videos because uh, I'm giving you so much value. Come on, I mean, guys, all these videos are free, okay? We're just trying to uh, help you because we know it sucks, okay? We've been trading for 15 years. We took, I think, close to eight years just to make money. So we don't want you to go through, you know, what we've been through, okay? And if there's something that we can teach you, we'll gladly just teach it to you through this channel. So hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.